pick left to go here for Evil Geniuses. It will be that mid laner. It will be the response to Bjergsen's LeBlanc. And it looks like Jazuke will be on the Karma. Okay, Karma, I think, makes a lot of sense here. You're running double Marksman, and that's why I thought that the Zillion ban was so smart. Zillion Kindred is a great combo. Generation and Zillion's help pack we're discussing back at level one. Binding's going to hit double lift there, but nothing to stun him with. Spinscaren will make his way down into the bottom lane. That's a 200 HP double lift. Spinscaren's walking up, but he cannot find the damage onto the TSM 80 carry in time. Bang shifting forward, trying to find the chance there. Shield with Guardian. Um, and actually just rely more heavily on picking up Meeps for mana regen, as Cecil will have to portal out of here. Uh, but it allows you to be a lot of dead man to kind of play more of that supportive role. Uh, but it allows you to have a lot of the playmaking and still be consistent. Speaking of playmaking, it's been scaring, jumping in onto Spika here, who flashes away. Jazuke trying to move forward here to get some extra damage. Everybody from EG going on a magical journey now to all Beers collapse here together here in the river. Four-man squad from EG trying to get themselves away. Spin Scarin taken low. Uh, which is a, a fairly big deal. They, they don't know that they have been spotted. They will be able to uh, figure that out now, though, as they're actually looking for Jazuke. Jazuke no rooted up. Damage coming through. Lot of damage down onto the mid laner from EG. Good plays from TSM. First blood over to their side. Spin Scarin trying to run away. Maybe get a return kill. Maybe going to be killed now himself. Biofrost moving up. Lands the bag of cash on Takumo. Trying to get some more of that money here for him and the rest of his team. Taunt goes through. Stun lands down. Kumo goes out. Very early. It was double chain set up there from Bjergsen. And we'll get to watch it one more time. Nice replay here, actually, from the observers as it was double chain straight into that taunt. Spika stacking on top, and Spika, you know, knowing the damage limits here very, very well, not actually dropping the ultimate at any point here. And then the long chase down, Biofrost tagging Kumo, slowing him down multiple times, using the exhaust there too, and Broken Blade just barely able to get in range for that taunt. And another kill went the way of TSM. This is Whenever still Conqueror, so maybe it's going to be like a hybrid thing, like. As we'll have to cause pause that. Oh no, Jazuke, there's no way out of this one. Roots yeah. go through, damage follows up. Speak is the one taking the kill, but uh, I think it, it might be a little bit ill advised. Bjergsen is roaming down. Speak has his ultimate if he needs it. Sazel's here, but Speak with a good smite, making sure they don't give that objective away. That enough for one more spell from either one of them. Kumo could be in danger up here. Spika hovering around just in case Finscaren tries to make some sort of a move. Kumo jumping forward. There's your talk coming out from Broken Blade. Spika shows up. She bear. Oh, man. He jumps away. He uses the ulti to get the bonus health and stay alive with 100 HP. He's still going to be more like Triforce Essence. That's everything with Longsword. Yeah. Longsword already put there means at most you're getting a bruiser item. Jizuke bound up. Bjergsen able to supply oh. the initiation and the follow up from the rest of the team. It's double lift with the Hail Mary shot from the sniper rifle, making sure he oh. put the game. Speaker picks that one up, no contest. Nobody wanting to walk down there and deal with that. Nobody getting out of the top side either as Kumo gets himself killed off by the combined power of the TSM solo lanes. Zazel now trying to run away, trying to protect Spin Scarum, but it will not do a damn thing. Really Don't just dominating. Uh, at this point, and now again, just using that it, Stand United offensively to pick on Jazuke. He's it gone. It doesn't stop. Jazuke's 0 4 and 0. Shelly summoned up in mid lane. Ooh, Ooh I like that. Good stuff from Zazel. Immuting the turret with the stasis, preventing the Shelly charge from getting the kill, allowing the team the time to keep it alive, defend it a little bit longer, but it's still going to be taken oh. down anyway, ladies and gentlemen. How many years is it? It's, uh, <laughs> you all know the answer. 200 years in the mid lane as Double Lift <laughs> sends him some damage from downtown. Three and zero here on the Aphelios as Zap. Broken Blade will scare Kumo away. Bjergsen shows up, forces out the defensive Volley Bear ulti. That is a big ult to not have available. TSM looking to take down the Baron. Good block onto the Ezreal ulti coming out from Biofrost, Bio who's now nearly killed. Lamb's Respite thrown down. It'll keep Biofrost alive. He wants to stick around and grab the heal. And now TSM are looking for the chance to maybe engage onto Evil Geniuses. No yeah, Doublelift has the Chakrams. This is the highest DPS gun that Aphelios can get here at close range. TP coming in now from Evil Geniuses. Kumo making sure he finds his way into the fight. Bjergsen gonna be doing the same now, but he's taken very low, having to walk away. Double with grabbing the damage, and it's enough to kill off Svenskera, but Bjergsen will also fall. It's a one for one so far, and Kumo stays to stop on the front line, but here come the Evil Geniuses. Lamb's Respite will keep TSM alive, 
but they have enough time to take down the Volley Bear. Now the counterattack's coming in and Double Lift is Boy, looking to dance around. Lift. The Inferno is spreading all over the team fight. Ladies and gentlemen, the man has enough guns to get the work done. They're actually going to TP and back in here with Suzuki, so they want to try to see can they stop this from going down. There's no smite on Spica. Lamb's respite had such a major impact in that fight. It looked like it might have finally been the chance that EG needed to come back and win something. But then the turnaround with that oh, ever so powerful them. Kindred ulti. And now Jazuke and Bang have to try to hold on. Bjergsen jumps in. But he's also taken down pretty close to death himself. Bang! Killed off. Jazuke running for his life. And all TSM has to contemplate is who's going to be getting the money on this one. Bjergsen making sure he steps out of the way of the inner flame. Double kill over to him. And outscaled. And they are way down in gold. The Baron buff is in TSM's hands. They should be able to extend this gold lead so much if not end the game with this push. Double if doing so much damage on this Aphelios. This game 6-0 and 1. Has Mortal Reminder to stop healing coming out from the side of Evil Geniuses here in the team fights. Working towards the Death Dance next. Speakers on the front line. They try to initiate onto him, but Biofrost does a good job of protecting and disengaging. Now TSM are trying to fire some shots into the back line themselves, and Jazuke will be the first one to fall. Kumo now being chased down, and the taunt will seal his fate. Zazel the next target, but Broken Blade without any CC will not be able to secure that one. TSM continue to push up five men strong. Double lift is out of mana, but you don't need mana when you got the guns locked and loaded. Sniper rifle and chakrams ready here. That remember the chakrams are what causes so much of the damage. As Spin Scaring gets popped, Broken Blade responsible for that one. TSM one Nexus turret down. They're moving on to the second. The Evil Genius's Nexus is exposed, and TSM will answer the challenge of one of the best teams in the league, and they will take their win, 31 minutes.